You having fun? Yeah. Hi there everyone, it's really great to see you. Welcome back to the channel up here in the loft on Weir Yard. Now we've actually got the trains running today. This is a first for one of the introductions. The reason for this is we're just about to film the Monday Club, but I had a few minutes to spare, so I thought I'd tell you about the video you're about to watch. Well, as you all probably know by now, having a look on the Facebook group, I've been out and I've been bitten by the five inch bug. And this means that I've picked up from Ollie over at Wardle Road, his 14XX Auto Tank. Well, today is the day that we go and pick it up. So come with me and I'm really looking forward to showing you the new acquisition. gauge track that means that the track distance between the rail heads is five inches but it's live steam and it runs on coal it has a fire in it boils water and that's the plan we're going to pick it up today now we've been to this railway before it's at a super secret location about three hours from our house but that's where we're meeting uh, Ollie aka Wardle Road who I've actually bought this from so really looking forward to seeing it in the flesh, maybe getting it running, and then bringing it home. So we've arrived, you may recognise this railway from a previous video. And I've just been admiring Ollie, aka Wardle Road, Presley 01, really, really nice locomotive. And this is actually the reason that I've been able to pick up this previous locomotive the 14XX Auto Tank, and I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to be making my way over, and I've already paid for it, so this is this is the fun bit, no more money has to change hands, I just pick up a train and go, well actually let's play with it first. This looks really nice. Oops. Yeah, you've got a fully detailed 14XX, this. So. It, it is nice, it's built by King Scale. King, uh, Silver Crest. Silver Crest. This is a Silver Crest one, yeah, yeah. Right. pretty right. much the same thing, but just different companies. They're distributing them. It's a, it's a good little runner. It's not as strong as the other one. Yeah, um, yeah. I, know, I have sent a video of you pulling a wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is nicely done. I mean, I look at that. It's, it's been finished in a really good state. Yeah, yeah. And in some respects, it's the ideal size. You don't want to have to have like a, a van. No, the whole wagon's 3D printed. Really? Yeah. So what, all of it? All of it except the uh, axle. That has come out incredibly well. You wouldn't know, would you? No, 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 I was looking Even at it. Even the axle boxes are 3D printed, the spring leaves are 3D printed, uh, the wheels are 3D printed. Yeah, it's just the, the axles, of course, and the coupling hooks above everything. Wow. So did you, did you just get the CAD files? Yeah, so, no, it's a friend who was doing them, but he stopped, he stopped doing them at the moment. But uh, hopefully back in business soon. I like your little, uh, the little shunting wagon as well. Yeah. Uh, quite nice. I know, it's done a brilliant job with the, uh, the 20 ton as well. That is really nice. It's, yeah. nice little, uh... it's, not, it's not a riding thing. No, it's it? not, no. <laughs> you, need to, you have to reinforce those things, don't you?
so you just get right down and into there. Yeah. Is there specific like oiling cups or something, or uh, are you just sort of dribble? Oh no, um, yeah, just kind of drip it. Yeah, to be honest with you, just anywhere that moves, coating yeah. off. There's no actual oil reservoir. It's I just... don't believe so. And I take it this feeds the bulk of the motion inside underneath. Yeah, yeah, the lubrication. Yeah. Yeah. But don't pour water in that one because it just comes straight back out. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah. the doors, as I learned. You learned the hard way. Brilliant. Right, I mean, how much do you reckon it weighs? I don't know, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we're out of steam, um, but it's okay, it's not my fault, um, and that makes it all, all right. It's, so, it's, it's having fun, that's all matters. Yeah, it's the taking part that, that matters. So Ollie is uh, just sorting us out here. It's going to be a couple, couple minutes, I think. In the so we're currently blocking the main line. We do <laughs> have a green light. The boiler on my dad's garret is about twice as long, but um, four times is uh, big on the diameter. diameter yeah. I imagine the lumps of coal you put in that as well are slightly bigger than the... Oh yeah, we, we put in actual, like, like uh, look like um, potatoes. Yeah. Which makes things a lot easier because, um, in all honesty, if you can put a big lump on, it burns a much more sustained burn. Yeah, yeah. The small, yeah, the smaller the scale, the yeah. You, because you shovel this on, and one minute nothing's happening, the next minute is a roaring yeah, fire, yeah. and then it's gone. Success. Didn't steam it up, so we've got to put it in the car now and go for a three and a bit hour drive to get all the way home. Now hopefully tomorrow, um, 
going to try and arrange to get the boiler test done on this, but success. Had great fun, and at least we've, we've whizzed it around a couple of times, albeit just pushing it, but it does mean I get to keep clean. you really enjoyed this video and don't forget to tickle that like button and share the stream too. Sharing is caring. And also you can check us out over on Patreon and help us to make the videos that you want to see. And also don't forget to check out all of the merch we've got in the store down there so you too could be resplendent in a brilliant Do You DMU, Gronk It Up, Terrier Fest and a whole host of other t-shirts, hoodies and we've also got the mugs as well. But until next time, you take great care of yourself. Stay safe, happy modelling, and bye for now. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, OORail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMRish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, and Alan Dickerson. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.